expanding universe pending universe theory and according to this theory especially early uh, later it was known as big bang theory big bang theory which was propounded by a belgian priest george lemitere george lemitere he was a priest he was a physicist astrophysicist astronomer too from belgium belgian astronomer he propounded big bang theory he was having certain assumptions and assumptions are there was nothing in the beginning there was nothing and everything was concentrated in a very tiny ball which he named singularity okay there there was no base of this assumption and no one was there to see that tiny ball so it's a kind of hypothesis but once your hypothesis is going to be supported by certain evidence then it become theory and the evidence are going to be scientific and based on rational ground these are scientific phenomena which is going to occur and we also proved it yes the theory the hypothesis which is mentioned in big bang theory will be right and this is the theory which is close to the reality big bang theory so according to this theory he said there was nothing there was nothing and everything was everything was was confined confined within a tiny ball confined within a tiny ball and he named it singularity that he named singularity there was nothing there was no matter there was no electron proton atoms there was no light even light was not there so if you see the photograph of big bang theory you will find that it has been given a band and there is a light so might be you will be asked this question ki was there light after big bang answer is no why because light is made up of certain particle which is called as photon and there was nothing so how come photon would be there so you have a very general question sir why on entire internet this big bang theory photograph has been given like that so just to simulate just to make your mind to understand yes there was a explosion and every explosion follows production of light just to simulate that it was otherwise technically it is wrong are you getting my point if light was not there so how come light produced at the time of explosion because light has to be formed na for that photon has to be formed first so all the internet figure technically it is wrong so maybe you will be asked this question uh, this figure shows light is that light answer is no there was no light there was nothing and everything was confined within a small ball of few centimeter diameter and he named it singularity this singularity has certain property what was those property within a tiny ball there is infinite infinite gravity infinite gravity infinite temperature infinite density density within a tiny volume within a tiny volume this was what singularity 
find singularity within a tiny volume you happen to have infinite density infinite temperature and due to infinite density there is infinite gravity it was confined in a tiny volume and one day there was an explosion and this explosion have taken place almost 13.7 billion year ago there was an explosion and as you all have seen that after explosion what happened everything start expanding an expansion started initially the speed of the expansion was very high but slowly it get means later it get slower down within fraction of second after explosion this explosion is basically called as big bang this explosion is termed as big bang and just after explosion some energy energy was released and some energy converted into converted into mass some energy converted into mass you all have this idea energy can be converted into mass and mass can be converted into energy and most of you knows that einstein have given this equation e is equal to mc square right e is equal to mc square this is the equation that give you the relationship between energy and mass where e is what energy very good m is mass and c represent velocity of light velocity of light that happened to be the fastest moving thing in our universe 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this this is the velocity of light so first there was expansion but if you ask to me sir what was the reason of expansion i can't say anything because it is not mentioned over there so th these were the assumptions fine kaisa hua hoga there was ex explosion and explosion followed with expansion and within fraction of second energy converted into mass and when energy converted into mass what was formed was the starting point when energy converted into mass god particles were created god particles fine the name god particle is also having story those who have this physics particle physics they know this story god particle and who gave this theory that energy converted into mass and god particles were formed theoretically it was given by peter higgs and that's why this is called as this this particle is called as higgs boson higgs boson one of the indian scientist name is also here higgs boson this god particle were formed these god particle responsible for formation of other particles fundamental of fundamental particles Higgs boson, this Peter Higgs. Don't uh, means I will dictate everything. Just understand first, make all the figure, then we, we will go for dictation. First understand. So understanding is more important. I will I will make everything in writing. Don't worry. Dictation will also go on. Peter Higgs and he gave this theory in 1960s, na? and in 2012 he was rewarded 2012 he was rewarded nobel prize of physics after there is a an experiment you all have this idea large hadron collider experiment that is going on in france switzerland border underground experiment so lhc these will be taught in your science and technology that's why i'm just touching it and uh, telling you large hadron collider experiment this experiment proved that yes if we create a condition just like the big bang 
then the first particle that can be formed will be what? God particle. And this experimental proof have proved this theory as well as Peter Higgs theory is first particle which was formed after Big Bang was God particle. Fine. And if you go into the story of this naming of God particle, you will find that when this theory was given and Peter Higgs went to the publisher, I have a paper to publish and that speaks about creation of universe and that is not because God, it is because of this particle. So, initially the name was given was anti-God particle. Are you getting my point? So, initially the name of the God particle was anti-God particle in Peter Hicks original paper. Then the publisher get annoyed. How dare to talk like that? God have created all these things. Peter Hicks was means he was with mind, so he understand ki learning se koi fayda hai nahi. So what to do? And the publisher understanding of creation was also marvelous. He said, he tell me who exploded that tiny ball. Peter Higgs was having no uh, means, <laughs> option. Who exploded that? He said, I don't know. That's why you don't know who is behind this creation. It is the God. Correct it. Otherwise, I will ensure that your paper is not going to be published, at least in this entire region. So, what to do? Name was changed. God particle. So, the name given God particle. At that very time, one book was also published in which this debate was going on creation of by God. Our anti-God theory were going on. So, these were the part and parcel. But to understand what? What exactly this God particle? They were the first particle that have imparted mass to other subatomic particle. Okay. Just after the explosion, the concept of time and space was started. This is the initial point from where the time started and space started. 